Hola, welcome. Join me for my weekend review on the Big Yellow Couch, my favorite place, of course. And uh, just a shout out to my pals, gals, friends and family, and little buddies who I contact with on the uh, old computer, email, Facebook. And a shout out to David Petito up there in Montreal. Also, Pat White. Hey, how's things in Northern California this week? And a shout out to Carol out in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, I want to thank YouTube and uh, also Facebook and the folks that helped me get together with some of my good buddies. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my week in review, some of the things I've done, and some suggestions for things that you might uh, do yourselves uh, upcoming here in the future to make your lives just a little bit better. Yeah, this week around the house, uh, I helped Rose repot a couple of plants, work a little bit outside uh, in the backyard in the garden, just a little bit now. Don't want to do too much, okay? And I also went to uh, physical therapy twice, uh, go twice a week. And uh, here's a shot of, uh, of me getting some physical therapy. Uh, ten times. My therapist, Ching Li, is on YouTube himself doing uh, three ball push-ups. These are Swiss balls, not, you know, little baseballs or anything. Here, check this out, and maybe you could do this at home, huh? Wow. Some balance, huh? You know, as you get older, you uh, lose touch with some of your old friends. And I've been looking for this friend for a long, long time. I haven't seen her in about 20 years from Youngstown, Ohio, Gwen Edenfield. Here's a picture of her. Ah, she looks happy, doesn't she? Yeah, I've been trying to find Gwen now for, well, since computers came out. I would do searches, but you know what? A moving target is hard to hit, but she's down there in Florida right now, and uh, we're in communications all the time now, thanks to the marvels of the computer age. So there's other people out there I'm still looking for, like Tommy Kirk. Where are you? If anybody knows where Tommy Kirk is, drop me an email. You know my email, okay? You know, I uh, get a lot of wild uh, videos from emails from you folks out there, and... Uh, Here's here's probably one of the craziest ones I got from my buddy Jeff, okay? Uh, Reverend David Manning, you can find this guy on YouTube, too. Caps, white women and black women. Obama is a long-legged Mac daddy. Okay. He's a pimp. Okay. <laughs> okay, for you folks out there that know me really well, you know I love movies. I like going to the movies. I like watching them on TV. So if you're thinking about going to see the movie that's out right now, Bruno, if you've seen Borat, starring Sasha Baron Cohen, well, it's kind of nasty. Okay, here. Here's just a little clip. Oh, I'm Bruno. I'm Ed Milan Fashionvik. Here's I'm going to wear the jumpsuit made entirely out of Velcro. You go out now. Yeah. Okay. Tell me out of it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, a lot of uh, dates go to this movie unless you ladies out there or your girlfriends really are into sleazy, vulgar humor. Well, you you know, I can handle that, okay? My little Rose, though, nah, that's not her kind of movie. It is kind of vulgar. And you know what? I was a little disappointed because uh, 
he stages a lot of the supposedly candid shots like he did in Borat. Bruno, um, again, it's good for a, for a stag party or something like that if you're going to go see it. Or go see it, guys, by yourselves. And it's really interesting because another movie that Rose and I watched here at home, a chick flick, starred his wife, Isla Fisher. Really pretty girl. Reminds me a lot of Amy Adams. I always get the two confused. Uh, Confessions of a Shopaholic. Cute movie, good movie to watch, you know, with your family or to watch, you know, on a Friday night with your wife. Uh, just to make sure you got the credit cards put away. Kind of on a serious note, I got an email from a very dear friend and said, Brother Buster, my sister is really having problems. Her and her husband have been in and out of uh, hospitals with illnesses. Her husband's very sick. Uh, I don't want to go into details of what he has, but she was asked she was asked by her sister, you know, what did we do to deserve this? What, you know, what can we do? Maybe you can make some suggestions. You know, our life just seems like whenever things get better, they get worse. Well, that is life, actually. And I emailed her back and said, well, what religion are they? What church do they go to? Her reply back, her email was, oh, well, they're atheists. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that could be a little problem, you know. Maybe they really do need something to believe in. You know, the first uh, religion that was out there recorded was uh, Hinduism. They have a lot of gods and things like that to pray to. And, uh, you know, there's Buddhism, there's there's something. But, uh, you know, that's all <laughs> I've got to say is, you know, maybe it's time to, to really, other than just yourselves, that you need something to believe in. And, and, and may I... Uh, May I suggest Jesus? Yeah, kind of a contemporary religion. Um, here's, a, here's a little book here if you're interested in reading books. This is called Something to Believe in, and it's by a dear friend who just passed away, Robert L. Short. Uh, Bob was the minister that performed the wedding last August for Rose and I. I read his book about 20-some years ago, and it kind of changed my life. I always did believe in God, okay? And uh, I was just at a time in my life where I really needed something, too. So the way I see it, you know, latch on to something, you know, and pray. You need to pray every day. That's a good saying. Pray a day, a prayer a day, okay? Keep the bad omens away. And, you know, be good people. I know you good people out there, and it's really easy to figure it out. If, if, if you think something's going wrong, if you think you're around people that uh, you question, get away from them. Do good deeds. It'll make you feel better, and definitely say a prayer every day and every night. You might even want to get down on your knees and say your prayers like you did when you were a kid. Well, that's uh, today's show, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be back next week with something new. Tell you about my week next week. And don't forget, we've got uh, my anniversary coming up. So for now, I'm going to go in the backyard and get some sun and mist.